Hi, I'm Dave with Laguna Tools. I'm here to demonstrate how to install your CO2 laser tube into your machine. Uh, first of all, I suggest wearing gloves when you're handling the laser tube. Um, second, be very careful with the laser tube as it is very delicate. Um, handling the tube uh, has two sides, it has a water intake, water out, high and low voltage. It has a output in one end of it. Look at that. That is going to go in first to the cabinet. Open up your cabinet. Make sure the laser tube brackets are pushed up all the way. And then you're going to insert your tube through this side. Being extremely careful, you have your output on this side, sliding it through, resting it right in the cradle of the brackets. This is the water outlet tube. We're going to install it here. And you're going to rotate that and put on your low voltage clip on there. And then at this point, you're going to go to the other side and hook up the other. You can pull this out a little bit, give you some access. This is the inlet tube going into the high side. It can be a little tricky. Make sure it's all the way in. And then we'll connect the high output. We'll just leave it sitting in there. Okay. You visually make sure that your tube is level and it's about an inch and three eighths from that first bracket. With the output tube facing up to release any air bubbles that might be in there. So then we put the laser tube clamps down, make sure it's snug, keeps it from rotating and moving. Then at this point, we can install our laser tube into our chiller. So this is water in and water out. It's going to be water in is going to be from the outlet side of this and the water out is going to be the inlet side to this. This is the alarm outlet cable and it plugged into the machine. lines hooked up like we did we talked about the inlet outlet to outlet and inlet so when turning this on the main switch is in the back of the machine we can turn that on power that up and then we'll turn on the chiller so at this this point we're going to turn on the chiller it'll beep a couple times then what we do is we come to the back and we witness the air being pushed out through the laser tube into the chiller so it's all water. We want to look at our laser tube and make sure there's no air bubbles in here. If there are and they're stubborn, you pinch the outlet tube a couple times, it'll help move those air bubbles through. As you can hear, it has an alarm. It's supposed to. You're cutting off the water supply to the laser tube. So when you visually see that there's no more air bubbles in there, you're good and you can close it up. And then when you're ready to start the machine and hit the power on, the machine will home, origin, and it's ready to do a beam alignment. In your accessories pack, you had double stick tape and a couple acrylic blocks. We're gonna use those for our alignment. We're going to open up this cover and we're going to attach 
one of the blocks with the tape. So to hold it, you can remove your gloves at this point. Okay. So we're gonna check our first mirror here. So I'm gonna put my block on the hole of this second bend mirror bracket. On here with no alarms, we can hit pulse and it'll pulse the laser beam. So at this point, what we wanna do is look and see where it is on our acrylic block. We wanna to try to make it as close to center as possible. So, we have laser beam coming out. We have it hitting the first acrylic block. I'm gonna manually move my head over to the left side, right about there. I'm gonna do a pulse to see where it hits in the acrylic. And then I am gonna move my head out this way. I'm gonna pulse and see where it hits in the acrylic. And then at that point, if we need to make any adjustments with our head in this position, we adjust bend mirror number one. You loosen the locking nut, locking nut, three of them. You adjust in, out, up and down, depending on where the beam is in your acrylic. Try to get it as close to center as possible. When that is adjusted, and you're good with that, we lock those. We lock those, and then we'll move on to the next mirror. What we do is we grab our acrylic block. We can still use it, even though it's been hit twice, we can still see what the center is. So at this point, what we do, we can move our head, we'll move it over to center. We will attach our block to that one. We will close this and we will pulse the beam at this point. Depending on where the beam hits on our acrylic, we need to put it as close to center as possible. So we adjust the second bend mirror at this point. If we're good, We'll move it back to here. We will do the same. We'll pulse it. We'll see where it is on the acrylic. If any adjustments need to be made at this point, we do it with bend mirror number two. Then we'll move it all the way to the other side and we'll do the same. We'll pulse it, see where it's hitting. Any adjustments here are made on bend mirror number two. We'll move to this position we will pulse and make any adjustments on bend mirror number two. Then at this point, once that's all aligned and we're very confident about our beam alignment, we'll take our acrylic off and we have one more alignment to do. Um, we'll come over here and we'll use a little piece of our double stick tape or any other type of tape will work fine. We'll take a little piece off. We're gonna do a nozzle alignment. Put it in so you can see how you pulled it out. And then at this point, close the cover. We'll pulse the beam. And then we'll see if our, as close to the center of the nozzle as possible.
at that point, we're all done. We'll make sure all of our um, lock nuts are tightened up. And then at that point, close it and we're ready to run. All right, that concludes our CO2 laser tube installation and beam alignment. One tip, take your time, be patient, don't rush it. If you have any more questions or comments, please look for us at lagunatools.com or give us a call. Thank you.